This stunning Tudor house was built in 1567 by local lad Sir Richard Clough, a trader who founded the Royal Exchange in London. It started out as a grand U-shaped building with stepped gables covered in red brick. It would have been the first of its kind in Wales and a huge symbol of wealth. Today, the house looks a little different with its cement render and its new owners, IT consultant Adam Rose and artist Asia Chan Rose, who live here with their three sons. Asia needed more space to sculpt, I wanted more space, and uh, our boys wanted more space, they wanted their own bedrooms each. And we wanted somewhere that was close to nature and that had, we could do all the outdoor kind of stuff that we like to do. And then we ended up with this crazy place. But I'm going to start in the south wing, where there's a huge reception room for the whole gang to chill out in, watch TV and play games. And of course, the nerve center of any home. Welcome yeah. to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. So a single family, the Clough family, lived in this house for how many hundred years? 450 years, exactly. And it must have been quite difficult for them to give it up, I guess. They had gotten tired of maintaining the house, together with the challenges of farming. It's you not know, a place for everyone, nor does everyone want to take up a life. Yeah, mm. you know, it's like running a marathon. Anybody can run one, but not everybody wants to run one. This wing of the house is on its way to becoming an exciting new venture for Adam and Asia. So what will you turn this side of the house into then? Well, some sort of accommodation for paying guests. So whether it's a holiday let or some sort of B&B type thing, that's the goal so that the house can basically contribute to its upkeep by earning it some income. And the sooner that can happen, the sooner I can move away from my conventional day job and spend more time on something that's more fulfilling, I guess. And in the next room, Adam and the boys have created something truly unique. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, you've gone for a hard, go for a big green oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> woo -hoo. Yes, yes, yes. And if you need to bail, just jump down to the crash pad. Well, I sort of do, because I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly right, yeah? Do that what, a million more jump. times. Oh, God, I'll tell you what, that takes your uh, fingers apart, yeah. doesn't it? So do you find yourself using all the outside space here? We prefer being outdoors rather than indoors. Asia needs a space for her sculpting, and so she's usually carving or angle grinding using chisels outside. This incredible garden doubles as a space to showcase Asia's sculptures. I'm rather in awe of these guys. It's a big apple they've taken a bite out of, but with the family spirit, I have every faith they'll get there.